Da na na na, da na na na, da na na na. Edgar TV. How do guys and welcome back to Edgar TV where today we're going to look at marking the dartboard and what this line means you'll see on the dartboard here. The first thing to point out is you'll see a star there that under Barry's name or to the side of Barry's name should I say. This means that Barry throws first in this leg. The marker when he rubs the board out will move the star over to my box. So it just shows who throws first. But this video is about what that line means and also different ways in which people mark and how to mark correctly in a more professional setting. So the first thing is you have to write things properly. So if this is our short, we have to write out 100, then 401. Now what you'll see, you'll see a lot of people that will write 100 like this. So a tick, 401 might be this, or even this. When we have writing in short. But if we're going to mark properly, we need to write the numbers incorrectly. You might also see for like a 140, which is there's the correct version of it, you might see people do this where they put 140 there, or in various places you have different ways of marking. Scotland, for example, that was 100 when I was there. This, that was a 140. It was really confusing. I didn't, it took me ages to figure out what they was doing. Um, but yeah, probably because I didn't hit that many of them at that point. But yeah, the different ways of marking and different things. And what we do is we go hit score here, required score. So player one versus player two. Uh, so we put 501 here. Now some people will put it here, but it's actually supposed to go in here. So we've got hit score, required score, hit score, required score. So it's left to right, left to right. So we write our scores in here and take them off as we go. Now some people will do this as you go through so you can see what you've got there. This is incorrect. This line only comes into play when you have left a finish in this section here. So if we use player two, for example, 140 to leave 161. Now the problem here is if the player takes a glance at the board, they might go for the 140, they might go for the 161. In that moment, they could go for the wrong shot. So that's why we put a line through here where we cross from the hit score through to the previous score, which will then highlight the score that we should be going for here, which is 161, okay? I then go up and hit 60, line across through the shot that I've missed, through the score hit, 101. That's what this line is for, it's to show you and to cross out so you can clearly see the remainder score. It's not something to do all the way down. That line means you're on a finish. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That's what that line means. If you've seen something in darts that you're not quite sure why it happens, hit me up in the comments section. I might just answer your question in a future Edgar TV video.